Hey guys, welcome back to Heavy Metal Horizons, and I've got what I consider to be an essential piece of modern day ham radio gear. And it is these tiny handheld battery powered spectrum analyzers. This is from CC, this is the Tiny SA Ultra version. Okay, so a spectrum analyzer, right? It's got a screen, we can visually see all of these radio signals coming in. But what is this thing actually useful for? Well, it's useful for a lot of things. Imagine if you could combine a really wide band receiver, a scanner, a signal generator, and an incredibly useful piece of test equipment. If you could combine that all in one unit, you pretty much have this right here. It's kind of like SDR, software defined radio, but it literally fits in your pocket. Like how good are those cheap HT radios that we keep buying? Well, with this thing, we can actually answer those questions. Now we'll get into this. I'll show you up close some things that we can do with this, some sort of the more common uses for it. But basically, I think the best way to describe this is just like I said in the beginning, a really, really wide band receiver that's tied into a visual screen so you can you can see all of the radio signals and we can do all kinds of scanning and analyzation of those signals. And what kinds of signals can we receive on this thing? Well, the normal version of this goes from basically zero up to 800 megahertz. But this is the ultra version and ultra means that if you go in and unlock the ultra setting in this, which I'm not really sure why you have to unlock it, but that's just how it is. But you go in and you just type in a code, which is 4321, by the way, just in case you have to look for it or something, but you type in that code, it unlocks the ultra mode, and then you can receive up to six gigahertz. And that means that you can use this thing to hunt for Wi-Fi signals. So you could even use this to find like spy cameras and hidden cameras and so forth. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. And I honestly think that for a new ham getting into the hobby, uh, you know, getting your first radio or first couple of radios, I think the next thing you should get is one of these because you can do so much with it and it teaches you so much about radio signals and what they're used for uh, in life, right? Anyway. Let's go ahead and look at some close-ups now, and I'll go through some examples of how this thing works and what you can do with it. But of course, guys, real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, we do aviation, cars, and radio here at Heavy Metal Horizons. If you like that stuff, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's take a close-up look at this thing. Okay, so to start with, the best way to think of this thing is a radio receiver with a visual display attached to it. Now, I've got a little cable plugged in here so we've got the audio output because it's a radio receiver and you can listen to anything that you pick up now obviously they're not all going to be audio signals but just as an example here we've got an fm radio station 91.5 uh, is what it is you know when you tune it up on your radio and all you got to do is you find that peak right in here because this is like the fm broadcast radio band you find that peak and then the signal will come through and you can listen to it. And what it does here is the peak that we're listening to right now is down here showing the little number one there. But you can use this top wheel and you can scroll through all these different peaks. And the peak is of course going to be the strongest signal. So we can scroll through here and you can sort of tune in to these different radio stations. Now for all you ham guys out there, let's say we want to listen to the ham band. So tap on the screen, you go to frequency. And then you've got start, stop, center, and span. So let's center it on 145 megahertz. And then we're going to adjust the span to be 50 megahertz. And now we're seeing everything from 120 megahertz down here to 170. And it's centered on 150. And again, you use this little wheel on top to kind of scroll through these different peaks and see what all of these signals are. And if you have the audio hooked up, you can listen to all this stuff. And I should mention here that when you have that audio cable plugged in, to turn that on, you tap the screen, you go to level, and then you enable listen right down here. You can turn that on or turn it off. Now on the same ham bands here, I've got my uh, Quan Ching tuned up to 146520. So, you know, we'll blast this out here and you can see that that peak there that's obviously that's the frequency we're transmitting at 
but if you're around people and let's say you know there's some guys using walkie talkies or something and you're trying to figure out what frequency they're talking on just have this with you and you can see you know that what's that spike going to be when they're transmitting and you'll see it right on here you'll see the peak and then it'll read out on the top there whoops it'll read out on the top there what the, that exact frequency is now another thing that's super valuable that you can do uh, you know, super valuable for hams is to check the harmonics. You know, are your uh, Chinese radios, are they making like spurious emissions? Are you getting these really radical harmonics and so forth? And there's a few ways you can measure this. You can actually hook up the radio directly with a, a cable that's provided into the, uh, the RF input output here. But you don't actually have to do that. And actually one of the disadvantages is if you do that, you want to run an attenuator between the radio and the Tiny SA Ultra. Otherwise, if your power is too high going into this thing, if it's 10 watts or above, you can, you can blow this thing. But you don't even have to hook it up like that. You can just have the radio close by and then transmit and then, you know, read it that way, read it through the air. Now, in order to do this, what you want to do is you go in here, tap the screen, you hit me uh, measure, and click on harmonic, and then frequency of fundamental. It's going to want to know that. Let's go 146.52 megahertz. Span, we just go zero. Okay, so it's going to get us the whole, the whole picture here. And what we're looking at is from zero to 800 megahertz. So now all you got to do is we've got the radio on 146.52 megahertz. Just key it up. And look at this. Now you're going to see, they're all numbered here. Hopefully you, you can see that. Number one is here. That's your primary frequency. And then all of these second, third, fourth, and fifth harmonics are going to be shown on here. And honestly, I got to say, that's not fantastic, but it's not too bad for the Quan Ching. Okay, guys, now the last thing I want to show you is let's say you're going through this and you're kind of new to it. And you're going through and you're changing all your settings in here and you just get really screwed up and turned around. To reset everything, go in here, tap the screen, go into config, go more, clear, config. Okay, you do that. It's going to want an unlock code. One, two, three, four. Hit enter and boom. That basically just resets everything and gets you back to all the default settings. And remember guys, this is the ultra version and this thing costs around $200. I think it's like 189, right, is the price. So, um, and the basic version, if you don't need to go up to like in the gigahertz range, uh, the basic version is, is even less expensive than that. So incredible value. I mean, think of all the capability that this thing has, including the signal generator, all that stuff, and how much you would have had to pay to get all that capability even like 15 years ago or something. I mean, it might have cost you thousands of dollars to do what this $200 device can do today. So the other thing to keep in mind with this is that with the USB port, you can actually hook this up to your computer and do all kinds of other stuff on it through the computer if you don't want to mess around with the little screen and using the stylus and that kind of thing, although it's actually pretty easy to use. And you've got that audio output. You can always listen to everything, all the signals that you're looking at on the screen. The amount of equipment that this thing replaces is kind of amazing. I mean, I've got an old school Unidin scanner over there. It's a great piece of equipment, but this thing makes it totally obsolete. Now, the one thing about this to kind of watch out for that I will say here is that I think the learning curve on this is fairly steep. So you do need to spend some time sitting down with this thing uh, and, you know, going through the manual and just playing around with it to really figure out how to use it because it can do so much. There's so much packed into a small unit that to go through it all, it can be kind of overwhelming and it's not super intuitive just because it can be so complicated. But once you spend some time with it and you figure out how it works, it unlocks so many things that you can do. Okay, guys, now this is the CC brand, the Tiny SA Ultra, and the company sent me this to check out, so there's a special link that they, that they gave me, which I'll put down in the video description below. Um, but I should mention, like, they contacted me and actually asked me to check out something else. I'm like, I actually really want to check this out. Like, I was hoping I would get one of these. So, 
you know, I said, hey, can I look at the spectrum analyzer instead? And they're like, yeah, sure. So it, it all worked out. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, please ask them down in the comments section below. I'll have links for everything I was talking about in the video description below. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.